Almost everyone fantasizes about visiting a picture-perfect island as they conjure dreams of paradise, an escape from the rat race, crystal clear turquoise beaches, lush green rainforests, a perfect patch of sand for you to relax under rustling palms and gaze at a calm blue sea. Some islands offer access to exotic beaches, caves, cliffs, culture, ruins of ancient cities, thriving coral reefs, rainforests, and rum. There's a version of paradise for everyone in these truly unique and beautifully unreal islands. Here are the 15 most unique islands in the world that will leave you enchanted and wowed. Get ready to be blown away by unique islands in the world. Hello there, and welcome to another episode of Forever Green. In this video, we will take a journey through 15 of the most unique islands in the world. And stick around for number one, because it will surely blow you away. 15. The James Bond Island the James Bond Island, otherwise known as Khao Ping Khan and Ko Tapu by locals, are islands in Thailand, Pang Nge Bay northwest of Phuket. The islands are limestone karst towers and were believed to be formed during the Permian period, which was about 250 million years ago, and are a part of A Phang Nge National Park. The Ko Tapu, or Ko Tapu, meaning Nail Island, the other half of the James Bond Island is a 20 meter, 66 feet tall islet located about 40 meters, 130 feet from the shores of Khao Ping Khan. These islands weren't famous until they were featured in the James Bond movie, The Man with the Golden Gun in 1974, which earned them their moniker. A majestic island with a gravity defying structure that rises in the middle of a water body creates a unique island formation that enchanted the very people that made the movie franchise a worldwide phenomenon. The island is an incredible sight to behold, and it passes for an excellent experience with the beauties of nature. 14. Socotra Island, Yemen This might be quite a controversial inclusion, judging by the horrific and ongoing crises in Yemen. Islands are known to be peaceful and tranquil, but because Socotra is 600 kilometers away from the mainland, floating in the sea closer to the coast of Somalia than its indigenous home, we have decided to include it. The crises in Yemen takes nothing away from the uniqueness and biodiversity of this fascinating island. Geographical isolation has sculpted Socotra in its unique form. A little less than 200 million years ago, the island broke free from the Gondwanan supercontinent, making it a thing of interest for those interested in island evolutions and biogeography. Another fun fact to note is that 37% of the plants on this island are endemic, meaning they can't survive anywhere else. It also houses as many as 11 unique birds, reptiles, and mollusks, most of which are endemic. Top on that list is the famous dragon blood tree. The tree was rumored to have originated from the blood of two brothers who fought to the death. Another, that it was created from the blood of a dragon injured fighting an elephant. It's an odd-looking tree, with thick, knotted branches, sprawling pit to form an umbrella-shaped covering. These skywards facing leaves collect condensation from the mists that roll along the interior's cliff tops and high plateaus. The trees protect the soil from erosion and serve as a medicine for locals who believe it aids the process of childbirth. The island could be considered an alien island thanks to its unique landscapes, trees, animals, dunes, and crystal clear waters. And if you think this place is unreal, the number one will surely blow you away. 13. Kauai Island, Hawaii the Kauai Island is regarded as the Garden Isle for a good reason. Its splendor stretches from its vermilion Waimea Canyon, plunging in 600 feet to its rugged Nepali Cliffs, stretching up 4,000 feet, with rainforests cloaking most of its interior, waterfalls that run through from lava cliffs, and the exhilarating fragrance of tropical blooms hangs heavy on the sultry air. Its beauty, however, lies not only in its luxuriant flora, its spectacular coastline will leave you breathless. This stunning island was sculpted by lava thrusting up from the ocean floor to form smooth ridges and vertiginous cliffs rimmed by gorgeous beaches. Underneath its cobalt blue seas lie turtles, monk seals, and tropical fish swim along coral reefs that delight divers and snorkelers from around the world. Unlike its popular sister islands, Maui and Uha, Kauai radiates a low-key vibe and tends to move at a more relaxed pace. Little wonder the island has appeared on Dr. Beach's esteem list of America's best beaches. 12. Havar Island, Croatia The island of Havar is the queen of the Croatian Dalmatian Islands for a good reason. Situated at the Dalmatian Archipelago center with an area of 299.6 square kilometers, length 67.5 kilometers, width up to 10.5 kilometers, and a population of 11,459. 
It has a history dating to the Stone Age. Havar is as fascinating as it is beautiful. 13th century walls surround Havar town and its red tiled roofs. It also boasts of the ancient stone ruins of Stari Grad Plain, which became an UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2008, a land colonized by the Ayan Greeks in the 4th century BC. A tour of the interior reveals rugged mountains, lush vineyards, and fragrant lavender fields. Havar receives many guests, celebrities, scientists, and travelers drawn to its dense Mediterranean nature, rich tradition and architecture, and vibrant nightlife. 11. Seychelles The Republic of Seychelles is an archipelagic island country in the Indian Ocean at the Somalia Sea's edge. The country comprises 115 islands, with its capital and largest city, Victoria, lying 1,500 kilometers east of mainland Africa. Pristine and picture-perfect, Seychelles is worth traveling to. East of Kenya, this relatively unspoiled archipelago of 115 coral and granite islands is packed with attractions, from UNESCO-listed jungles and thriving coral reefs to palm-lined, powdery beaches flanked by giant boulders. The Seychelles' towering beach boulders are a mainstay on computer desktops. Still, they're more than merely aesthetic. They also fascinate geologists who have identified the Seychelles as the only mid-ocean islands formed of granite. Fun fact, the archipelago of Seychelles is the oldest on the planet, and it has the cleanest air. Naturally, celebrities flock here. The North Island was where Prince William and Kate Middleton had their LA British royalty honeymoon in 2011. 10. Samoan Islands, Samoa the Samoan Islands are an archipelago covering 3,030 square kilometers, 1,170 square miles, in the central South Pacific, constituting part of Polynesia and a wider region of Oceania. Known as the Cradle of Polynesia, Samoa is notable for its indigenous Fa'a Samoa, way of life. It's a 3,000-year-old social code that prizes family, tradition, and the environment. Luckily, the landscape is as lovely as the local culture. It comprises two islands, Apolu and Savai. On the main island of Apolu, a plunge into the Tusa Ocean Trench swimming grotto is a must. On Savai, Samoa's largest island, visit caves, waterfalls, blowholes, and the Saluela Lava Field, formed by a 1905 volcanic eruption that buried five villages. A place where beautiful just happens is a truly magical and unique island to be. Before moving on to our next magical location, we have a quick challenge that'll just take five seconds to complete. So, here's the deal. Leave us a like, smash that subscribe button, and turn on notifications, and you'll win 10 years of incredible luck. Try it. It actually works. 9. Bora Bora, the islands of Tahiti Bora Bora is an archipelagic group of islands in the western part of the Society Islands of French Polynesia, an overseas collectivity of the French Republic in the Pacific Ocean. Every imaginable shade of blue manifests in the lagoon of Bora Bora, also known as the Jewel of the South Seas. Coral motus ring the main island like a sandy sash and, beneath the surface, dolphins, rays, sharks, turtles, and colorful fish throng. Presiding over it all is the moss-green volcanic peak of Mount Otamanu, where according to local folklore, God descended to the island on a rainbow. Undoubtedly, the most celebrated island in the South Pacific, Bora Bora, is French Polynesia's leading lady. Her beauty is unrivaled, and her fame unwavering. Bora Bora is one of the few places on Earth that everyone hopes to witness in their lifetime, and once you see it, you are forever enamored. 8. The Butterfly Island The Guadalupe Archipelago consists of over a dozen sun-kissed islands, located in the Eastern Caribbean and is an overseas department. It is located southeast of Puerto Rico. Guadalupe is referred to as the Butterfly Island on account of the shape of its two major islands, which are joined together by just a couple of bridges in a mangrove swamp, as well as the mainland of Guadalupe. Small offshore islands, Les Santes, Marie Galante, and La de Sarre are places that give a taste of Guadalupe's yesteryear. These are some of the most evocative and untouched destinations in the French Antilles and shouldn't be missed. 7. Maldives the Maldives is a nation of islands in the Indian Ocean that spans across the equator. The country is comprised of 1,192 islands that stretch along a length of 871 kilometers. While the country covers an area of approximately 90,000 square kilometers, only 298 square kilometers of that is dry land. The Maldives is home to some of the world's most ravishing islands, but it's the sea which truly makes these islands shine. Luminous aquamarine waters with a crystal clarity lap upon these dazzling white shores, which barely peak above the Indian Ocean. 
Consisting of 26 natural atolls, the Maldives archipelago is the planet's lowest-lying nation, rising no more than 3 meters above the sea at its highest point, a measurement that shrinks every year. Beneath the mesmerizing waters, coral reefs flourish, luring divers and snorkelers from around the world. The archipelago's greatest asset, the sea, but also the planet's climate changes, its single greatest threat. 6. Bali, Indonesia Bali, the famed island of the gods, with its varied landscape of hills and mountains, rugged coastlines and sandy beaches, lush rice terraces, and barren volcanic hillsides, all providing a picturesque backdrop to its colorful, deeply spiritual, and unique culture, stakes a serious claim to be paradise on Earth. It is a province of Indonesia and the westernmost of the Lesser Sunda Islands. East of Java and west of Lombok, the province includes the island of Bali and a few smaller neighboring islands, notably Nusa Penida, Nusa Limbongan, and Nusa Kenigan. With world-class surfing and diving, a large number of cultural, historical, and archaeological attractions, and an enormous range of accommodations, this is one of the world's most popular island destinations and one which consistently wins travel awards. Bali is something to offer a very Broadway market of visitors, from young backpackers right through to the super rich. If you had a chance to visit one place, which one would it be? Go ahead and leave us your answer in the comments below. We'll wait. 5. Nasiros Island, Greece Nisiros is now your everyday Greek island. Regarded as the volcanic city, this small landmass in the Aegean is also an active volcano. It is the youngest along a rift in the southern Aegean and has experienced at least three major eruptions in the past 45,000 years. One of these, around 16,000 years ago, was particularly destructive, covered a wide area with volcanic ash. However, the volcano has been dozing for the past 130 years, although it is under the careful watch of researchers monitoring its daily coughs and grumbles. Nisiros' volcano is one of the few anywhere in the world that can be easily visited. Anyone can make the short drive to the site and then spend hours wandering around the 10 hydrothermal craters with their wonderful names, Stephanos, Palavotis, Alexandros. This otherworldly landscape has the potential to make Nisiros a world-famous destination, provided, of course, the volcano remains relatively quiet. Where else can one so easily get such an intimate sense of the geological forces that shape the planet? and then combine that experience with an afternoon swim. 4. Big Island, Hawaii Legend has it that the island was created when two deities, the volcano goddess Pele and the demigod Kamapua, the god that controls the weather, struck a deal to make the vast big island of Hawaii's west side so dry and its east side so wet. Long story short, they had a battle, and the pair divided the island in two with Pele taking the western half and Kamapua, the eastern. The island contains 10 of the world's 14 climate zones, the only place on the planet with so many condensed into one small region, covering 4,028 square miles. The Big Island, or the Orchid Isle, is the youngest and largest of the Hawaiian Islands, twice the size of all the other major islands combined. And with two of the five volcanoes that created the island still active, it continues to grow. Kaliwa Caldera is the longest continuously erupting volcano in the world. Its present eruptive phase dating back to 1983. Mauna Loa, meanwhile, last erupted in March of 1984, sending lava to within a few miles of East Hawaii's Hilo town. Of the remaining three volcanoes on the island, Mauna Kea and Kohala are extinct, while Holahai is considered to be dormant, having last erupted in 1801. 3. Santorini, Greece Possibly the location of the storied island of Atlantis, Santorini is the stuff of screensavers and wall calendars. Crescent-shaped Santorini, or Thera, the precious gem of the Aegean, is actually a group of islands consisting of Thera, Theracia, Aspernisi, Pelia, and Neo Kameni, in the southernmost part of Cichlids. Did you know that the whole complex of Santorini Islands is still an active volcano? The same as Mathana, Milos, and Nasiros and probably the only volcano in the world whose crater is in the sea? The islands that form Santorini came into existence as a result of intensive volcanic activity. Twelve huge eruptions occurred, one every 20,000 years approximately, and each violent eruption caused the collapse of the volcano's central part, creating a large crater, Caldera. The volcano, however, managed to recreate itself over and over again, 
The last big eruption occurred 3,600 years ago during the Minoan Age, when igneous material, mainly ash, pumice, and lava stones, covered the three islands, Thera, Theorcia, and Apronisi. The eruption destroyed the thriving local prehistoric civilization, evidence of which was found during the excavations of a settlement at Akrotiri. The solid material and gases emerging from the volcano's interior created a huge vacuum underneath, causing the collapse of the central part and the creation of an enormous pot. Today's caldera, with a size of 8 by 4 kilometers and a depth of up to 400 meters below sea level, perched atop the black lava cliffs, Fira and Oe's settlements are the island's most picturesque and pricey destinations. The Oe ranks among the most photographed locations in the world. Other highlights of the Santorini include Akrotiri Archaeological Site, Ancient Thera, the Black Sand Beach of Parisa, and of course, the sublime sunsets. Sailing into this stunning caldera, surrounded by soaring sea cliffs, makes an unforgettable first impression. 2. Palawan, Philippines Palawan is the Philippines' answer to paradise. This island province stretches southwest to Borneo, with lush limestone peaks rising from a jewel-like sea so clear that you can almost see the fish's expressions from above the surface. Slivers of gleaming white sand beaches fringed with rustling palms rim many of these jungle-clad islands, while under the water, coral reefs teeming with an impressive diversity of tropical fish, offering some of the best diving in the world. Other attractions include the island's unique wildlife, emerald lakes, and quaint fishing villages. Coron is home to plush resorts, and El Nido drips with natural beauty and is one of the most alluring islands in the chain. From here, you can island hop around the spectacular Basuit Archipelago. One of Palawan's top attractions is the World Heritage listed Puerto Princesa Subterranean River National Park, an impressive limestone cave with a long underground river. It's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber, wondering about this exceptionally heart-shaped island that looks like paradise on Earth. If you come across a mysterious photo online and want us to look into it, just send it over, and we may even feature it in a future video. Now, we looked into this picture, and this fantasy island really looks out of this world, which is 1. The Heart Island The Heart Island has made our number one because it is unlike any other on the list so far. Nestled off the coast of the fascinating Queensland's Whitehaven Beach, floating alongside one of the most famous reefs in the Whitsundays, the newly opened artificial Heart Island offers guests an unforgettable experience, starting with a 30-minute helicopter ride over Whitehaven Beach, Hill Inlet, in Heart Reef. In a world first, guests to Hamilton Island can now get unprecedented access to the iconic Heart Reef Lagoon with the launch of Heart Island, a state-of-the-art split-level pontoon only accessible via helicopter. The artificial island is a $20 million investment that took over a decade of development to achieve, and for the first time, visitors will be able to see the intricacies of the iconic coral formation up close, with only scenic flights previously being offered to the area, exclusive to Hamilton Island guests and designed to look as if it was built for James Bond himself. Heart Island is only accessible via helicopter. Developed by Hamilton Island Air, the state-of-the-art split-level pontoon caters to only six guests at a time. The Heart Reef and the Great Barrier Reef of the Whitsundays is a stunning composition of coral that is naturally formed into the shape of a heart. Heart Reef was discovered in 1975 by one of Air Whitsundays pilots and is now an internationally recognized attraction of the Whitsundays and features on many postcards and brochures, promoting the Whitsunday region and the Great Barrier Reef, a perfect site for many proposals and declaration of love over the years. The formation is 17 meters in diameter, and until now, had only really been enjoyed from the sky. And that's it for the 15 most unique islands in the world. Which of these places dropped your jaw the most? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. See you in the next video.